I guess not yet. Shocked he didn't die in before random the Walking Dead like headshot through the eye. I'm surprised no one died. I was I was thinking one of those two would probably die. Uh oh, okay, here we go. This is setting up seven now. Looks really good. Playing a game or am I watching Star Wars Episode 8? Nah, it's 7. It's Dell. You know, if you wanted to hire my ship, you could have just asked. The map to Skywalker. You know how I can find it. I don't know what you're talking about. Show me where the old man took it. Get out of my head! I won't tell you anything. You think this ship will protect you? Keep you safe? It won't. Really? Ow. That's kinda cool. <laughs> what are we doing? Some Doctor Strange stuff here? FPS is kinda bad, by the way. It's just there's a lot of things loading here. Oh, this dude has a lightsaber? Yeah, he's got it out in his hand right now. This is where you began. You hoped the Empire would make you brave. Wait, is this... Is this Scarif? This looks like the place from Rogue One. Dark side power. Okay, all right, we're doing it. Do you feel brave now? This is definitely Rogue One. Wow, 
Wow, yeah, this is... Pretty sure this is Rogue One. Remember everyone bitching about the actor playing Kylo Ren? At first, I was not really digging Kylo Ren. He felt like a Darth Vader ripoff. Um, but I'm interesting to see how how his character unfolds in in, the, in Episode Eight. I didn't think the actor was bad, but I don't know. That Luke. Stuff would load. Uh oh. Well, we'll just have to see. This game is really laggy. This game is terrible when it comes to streaming. Maybe it's because I'm using the old OBS program, maybe. I'm just gonna walk straight. It's not gonna work. Oh, things just need to load. I will be replaying this level off stream probably just to have it go smoother. We're not dropping frames or anything, it's just the game is struggling to load because we're streaming, locally recording, and all that jazz, I think. Impossible. Grieve later. Aiden Versio. She was brave enough for both of you. First in, last out. She led you to ruin. <laughs> yeah, that's that's what's happening. Born a coward. We adapt or we die. What the heck? Made you a traitor. You think she changed you? That your daughter changed you. Get me out of this planet. This is trippy. A lot of stuttering. Oh wow, the bugs. The Jedi. Why did, Why you, did help you help me? Because you asked. Because you asked. Frightened the wrong thing. This is what happens when you don't have loading screens, I guess. Yeah. I think it's just more so the, the strain on my CPU while streaming, locally recording, and, and playing a game that you need a pretty decent PC to play. But it's not too bad once everything loads. Kylo Ren gets defeated by bugs. <laughs> Skywalker. 
give it a second or two. You were a fool to come back here. It's how they found you. But he came back to the observatory where he met Luke. Why, though? Watch this not load. Artemis. Where your family was broken. I'll break you here again. You wrong. Okay, uh... Stormtrooper over here, I saw. There's no one alive. That eyed in Versio? Shoot at me. Wait, where are we going? Are we going in here? Oh, there's one person that's alive still. Get me inside here. All right, give me the answers now. Tell me where the Santeca took the map. Bayora. He took it to Bayora. Centuries Hask. We both know how this ends. Yeah, and you don't get oh, to Oh, I didn't even brave. notice it was Hask. Because you are not a soldier anymore. Look at you, you're a coward. You traded in your weapon. For what? You know, Aiden may have betrayed me, but you tell, you let me down! You... Well, we all change, don't we? Hey? And look at you. 
He used to be dead. <laughs> Meliden could do just about anything except kill me. Apparently. Yep. We didn't fully destroy a ship. As Gideon. Please. Don't go after her. It won't end well for you. Please. Uh, he missed the first three times before the fourth one connected. So, Project Resurrection can continue as planned. On the contrary, Clem. I sought you out because, because you were useful to me once. We rebuilt your home and we allowed Janata Security to maintain control of the system, but in return you have fallen behind schedule and you have allowed an outsider to discover our plan. An honest mistake, I assure you. My men will relocate the pillow operation and up. No triple our efforts on a soap. Well, I shall leave behind a few of my men to see that you do. Make sure you bury Del Mico and his crew. But leave the Corvus alone. You know what will lead her back here. I'm planning on it. Oh. Also, that alien is the one that we saved when we did the storm level. Ooh. Battlefront 2. Uh, we don't get that? They don't give us that? Campaign complete. Rewards unlocked. Items journey continues in multiplayer. Visit career milestone page and access new upgrades. Well, that, that's it then. I don't know if they're going to expand on the campaign. I thought there was, they were going, I think my brother said something about that. But I, I don't remember. If they add more campaign, I definitely would play through it, but I don't know how much they, they can add. We'll sit on the screen for a minute and see if it loads, because I might have to um, force shut down the game and then relaunch it again, because that's just how I have to do it when I'm playing the campaign. But that was interesting. I think my initial thoughts are pretty fun campaign. The the story in it was pretty cool. You got to see the the events during Return of the Jedi and leading up to Force Awakens, which was pretty cool. Definitely definitely worth playing, that's for sure. That's pretty fun. Uh Remington says if I were to marathon the movies, which order do you suggest? The original as they came out or from one onwards? Story-wise, you have to start with um, episode one and make your way all the way through um, up to six and seven or whatever. But you, if you could, you don't have to do it. You could watch the original and then watch the prequels, but then that kind of spoils it because you kind of already know what happens. So I would suggest starting with episode one first. Watch episode one, episode two, episode three. And then if you want, you could watch Rogue One, which takes place um, before episode four. Don't have to watch that. Um, but the, the ending to that movie is pretty good. And it ties in, the ending of that movie ties in so well with how episode four starts. So even if you don't watch Rogue One, just watch the end of Rogue One. And then um, just watch the end of Rogue One and then start episode four. Uh, and then four, five, six, and then of course seven. Um, 
Because when I saw episode seven the first time, or like leading up to it, we watched um, one through six. We started with the f- episode one and then worked our way up. But story-wise, it makes so much more sense to do it that way. All right, well, I guess I got a Alt F4 out of this game. And by the way, what we just saw is, is actual canon um, in the Star Wars universe now. That, that, none of that stuff was like in novels or in, the, um, or in any of the movies or anything like that. The fact that they put canon inside a video game is pretty cool. And it was well done. Now to find like a whole day to watch it all. <laughs> Might be a little much to, to f- cram into one day. But you could definitely do it two days easy. Because you know, if you... I don't, I don't know how, how it is, but for me, if I were to try and watch all those in one day, like probably like halfway through, I would just like not care anymore. And... That's probably not a good idea. All right, let's get all of our rewards here. Cash grab crate. 500 credits. Battle of Jakku until ashes. Discoveries. Discoveries campaign crate. Grab that. The cleaner. Oh, if you find the collectibles, you just get crafting parts or something. Okay. I'll I'll pr- I'll play through the campaign off stream to find all the collectibles and stuff. But pretty much it just gives you crafting parts. It's not that big of a deal. That was fun. So now that we beat the campaign, Battlefront is pretty much done. Let's open these crates though. Cash grab crate, uncommon Lando star card, and uncommon specialist card. Let's open that. Lando, what you got? Keep your guard up. Welcome to Cloud City. Smoke grenade is larger and thicker. Thick. T H I C C. Brawler. We defeat an enemy in melee combat, your abilities refresh and you get a small amount of HP. Now, I don't really think a specialist would be in melee range, because you know they're snipers, but not too bad. Discoveries campaign, uncommon Kylo Ren, exclusive Iden emote, a rare Iden card, and 5,000 credits. Cool. I think we can unlock her if we wanted to. We'll see how much she is. What we got? Iden Versio. Hope cannot save them. You don't really see a lot of people using emotes in the game. Got to find out the credits. Bloodlust. Halloran can strike more times with his frenzy attack. Kind of good. Every wildfire starts with the Lock star card slot three. Alternate methods. You just alternate fire more frequently. Oh, that's cool. That's like that big o uh, burst of energy that gets shot out. That's cool. All right. Let's see. How much is Iden Versio if I want to unlock her? It's 5,000. They basically gave me 5,000 credits to unlock her for free. It's like Leia, Luke, 10,000, 15,000. Emperor, 10,000. Chewie. We'll go ahead and unlock her. I don't mind. I mean, they gave me 5,000 for it. I'll just do it. Could unlock someone else, but we'll just unlock her. Confirm. Confirm. 
happen? Alrighty. Well, that is going to do it for our Star Wars Battlefront 2 campaign playthrough. Um, I'll probably still be playing this game off stream, especially if they have fixed the server lag on multiplayer. That way I can actually play it. Um, if there's any more campaign that gets added to this game, I'll definitely, definitely do it. I think any future content that they add in this game is free, assuming they haven't abandoned ship on this game yet. <laughs> it's only been out like almost two weeks now. So, hopefully they didn't abandon it. For me, it's hard to start watching something, but once I do, I can go all day. There you go. Um, okay, well. But yeah, that's going to do it for our Battlefront 2 campaign. Um, now that we finally have finished this, we can start... Uh, the next game. The next game that we're going to be starting is XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Um, I already have it downloaded. I still have to do some other things like um, change the the backgrounds for the stream and then like, like follower notifications and, and stuff like that. Make it all XCOM-y and uh, XCOM-y. Uh, <laughs> Uh, so we'll be starting that soon. We could start that tomorrow, or we could start that on Thursday. Not really sure. We'll see if I can possibly start that tomorrow. Um, but when we start, when we start, uh, XCOM, XCOM, <laughs> when we start XCOM, the camera will be back. I'll be back on stream. Everything will be back to normal. Got myself a haircut today, so... I'll be bald, pretty much. Uh, ready to fight aliens uh, as a soldier and, and a commander and stuff. So that'll be fun. We played we played XCOM 2 about a year ago on the channel, but War of the Chosen came out about uh, August, I think. And I've been wanting to play that game for so long. So we're actually going to do it. And Fallout 4 is still on hold for the time being, so we can play some other games. But... Um, yeah, also, by the way, before we sign off, I did buy Prey, bought Cuphead, and I bought um, Planet Coaster, which is a, uh, like, build your theme park type of game. Probably won't ever stream that, but um, I love those types of games, the, the build your own theme park games. Been a fan for them for quite a while, but Prey and the Cuphead will make their appearance on stream sometime soon, so that's nice. But yeah, thanks for watching the Star Wars Battlefront 2 campaign playthrough. It's a mouthful. We'll see you next time for XCOM 2 War of the Chosen. Could be tomorrow, could be Thursday. I'll let you guys know. <laughs>